Hello all. Today I'm going to showcase how to create a multi-level Sankey diagram in Power BI. So we have a custom visualization that is what Sankey. And I do have some part of data here. So I have category, region and segment wise sales. Uh, let's look into the data first. So let's select region, category and segment wise sales. So this is the data. So now I want to create uh, the flow, the data flow from region to category and category to segment. I want to make sure to showcase that three levels here. In Power BI, it is possible to showcase only two levels straight away by making use of custom visualization. So let's click on Sankey here. So when you create a Sankey diagram, so you have a source and destination and uh, by making use of weight you can showcase that differentiation between those data flow the weight of that uh, based on a sales value so let me use region and let's select category and i'm going to use sales here sales as a weight so i so the problem here is by making use of sankey uh, we do have only one particular level that is uh, from region to category but i want to make sure that I want to showcase category to region and region to segment. So that is not possible straight away by making use of this custom visualization. So what I'm going to do is, uh, basically we have to make sure, uh, we have to make use of uh, some data preparation. So instead of manual or typing in the Excel and uh, whatever the data we are going to pull into Power BI, instead of doing that, I'm going to create a calculation. I'm going to create a table by making use of a union function here. So let me create a calculation here. So let's make use of uh, the same name, naming convention table. So I'm going to create a table, make use of shift enter. So I'm going to use union and how to summarize the data. Select columns. So I want to pick that particular table here, Sankey data, select that table. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two columns here. So I have a source and target, right? So I'm going to create two columns, source and target, and I'm going to union the same as first, I'm going to use region and category as source and target. Then in the second step, I'm going to use category and segment as source and target. So let's look into the calculation. So Sankey data as a table, comma, you have to make sure uh, you are going to create a custom column or a dummy column here that is source, comma, and uh, you have to pull uh, whatever the source. Uh, I'm going to use region as the source data here. So let me select region. And uh, I'm going to create a target column, target and i want to use category as target column so data or sorry um, select category and here this is very important whatever the columns we have created source and target so i'm going to use those naming conventions those columns here so i have a source comma shift enter make use of target shift enter and i just want to make use of occurs occurrence and uh, i'm going to use count of <coughs> sales here this is not mandatory but uh, we can make use of the uh, number of occurrences so make use of shift enter but this is important so I want to make use of sales column here. I want to make sure the proper data is coming uh, for this particular level. So comma, and I'm going to use some of sales. It's simple here. So I'm not going to type each and every line the second step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy paste the same. <clears throat> so as I said, right, the first level. So I'm going to use source as a region and the target as category. In the second level, I'm going to use the same calculation. So copy the same calculation and 
make use of page here <clears throat> and summarize the same data so instead of region as i said i'm going to use category and instead of category i'm going to use my target here as segment okay and nothing changes here so let's remove this comma and uh, make use of a bracket here just yes we are done so just click ok and let's create a sankey diagram straight away so let's click on this and i have created this table so let me use source and target so make use of source and select target and make use of sales here that's it so this is a uh, this is the best chart where we can showcase the flow diagram here so we do have a source as region and um, yeah we have multiple levels like from region to category and category to segment so and you can also apply the color condition between these two like uh, so let's go back to here go back to formatting and we do have links so if you want to differentiate the color so you can also apply uh, across different levels so we do have region wise category or a category to segment you can make use of those color uh, and uh, the labels and you can also differentiate with the color but this is what the multi-level sankey diagram by making use of union we have to uh, make sure that uh, all these particular order like uh, whatever the columns we are creating right so make sure that source target and uh, uh, you, you have to create sales as well so i'm going to union this particular data uh, with region and category then in the second step i'm going to use category and segment in the second step so this is what uh, the data preparation to create a multi-level sankey diagram thanks a lot